Rob, what's your overriding emotion after that? Uh, a bit of relief, really, uh, to be honest. Um, to come away with a point when, uh, you know, we've gone 2 1 down with about four or five minutes to go. So to come away with a point looked unlikely at, uh, with uh, that, that sort of time left in the game. But um, credit to the players to keep pushing on. And, uh, you know, second game in uh, quick succession, a few tired legs out there, but uh, they went right to the end and uh, we'll take a point. And uh, given, like you say, the games for game Saturday, the disappointment to lose and they've shown real character to come back, especially having then gone 2-1 down with four minutes left. Yeah, I think um, they can. the club can take credit for the, the group of players that we've got here because they will keep going and they will keep fighting to the end. So, uh, you know, there's many a team um, at this level and, and higher that 2-1 uh, down with a few minutes to go would have possibly thrown a towel in, but uh, can never accuse that. Uh, of our players they were they were fantastic in going to the end and the man who scored your goal was Mikel Suarez somebody you, you had by your own admission you've been on to to be more aggressive in the box and that's just what he was <laughs> that's what he is he's a, he's, a, he's a big lad you can't defend against that when he peels to the back post and gets across defenders we've been on at him for 18 months to be scoring goals like that and uh, you know I'm hoping that the penny will drop with Mikel because um, he, he'll be at a crossroads regards his footballing um, because that's what he can do. You know, he's got great feet for a big lad. You hear that a lot, but he has. He's got really good technique. He just needs to be a little bit more aggressive. Um, and I'm not talking about smashing people. I'm being aggressive, attacking the ball like he did in the box there, where he, he spun across the back post and uh, went in with some uh, air of authority to go and win the ball. And uh, teams can't live with him when he does that. And Danny Davidson had put in a real shift for you for the previous 80 minutes, so Mikel managed to capitalise on that by coming on to score. Yeah, I thought Danny did quite well today. I thought he, he got hold of it, and it's difficult because he's up against three centre-halves, but he won his headers when he could. Um, he got hold of the ball and linked play and worked hard, and I just said to him sometimes that's the way it is. You have to wear him down, wear him down, and somebody else comes on and, and gets the plaudits. But uh, on another day, it could have been on, around the other way. But uh, it's not an easy place to come here. They're, they're better than their league position suggests. Um, financially, they're you know they're not doing as well as they should do really um, with the budget they got available to them. They got some, you know, they got a big squad. You know, I looked at their bench and thought, well, you know, there's a few players there that uh, would probably possibly be in most teams in this league. But uh, you know, we, we, we compete and we're doing as well as we can at the moment. And um, you know, the lads have got to take credit after Saturday. Well, I didn't think we played particularly badly, but we didn't play particularly well. Just need to uh, get back to basics defensively and uh, start shoring it up a little bit. And presumably that's the aim to solidify things a bit at the back, because after such a great run of clean sheets, it was going to end. But you've, you've shipped one or two goals, possibly down to injury. Well, yeah, we're struggling a little bit. Sean's out um, with a hamstring. Kieran came into today's game nowhere near 100% fit, but we've got what we've got numbers-wise, and uh, you know he's brave enough to get on with it and. and and get through the whole 90 minutes and uh, he was really struggling at the end to be able to just walk that lone run so you know we've, we've possibly got to try and bring somebody in well no possible about it we need a centre half um, so we'll be looking to get one in before Saturday um, but you know we need to get the right player in but uh, we'll, we'll endeavour to do that the rest of this week and Saturday Gloucester at home first of back to back Saturday uh, sorry Gloucester away first of back to back Saturdays against Gloucester so an early chance to look at them and another big league game for you yeah, so they're all big games at the moment because uh, they come thick and fast. But um, you know, it's a tough one because it's a it's a fair old trek, and uh, we'll have to just uh, we'll have to go there with what we've got and uh, put on a performance as, as we have done all season. So whoever we we pick to play, um, we know that they'll give their all. And, and a football and league. Oh, it's a football league ground with yeah. it being Cheltenham, so hopefully a good surface for you to play football on. Oh yeah, I, you know, I said to the lads, it's an t- opportunity to play in front of a league club. Um, in, a, in a league ground and that's what it's all about you know it's not Anfield but it's a league club they're a league two club and they've got the surroundings to go with it so uh, you know no disrespect to, to Eastwood but it's nice and them coming here but there's no point being in a nice stadium if you don't put on the performance on the pitch you know the dimensions of the pitch don't change you know there's, there's two goals and 11 players against you so they've got to go out and put a performance in and uh, enjoy the surroundings when you get a victory and just finally two debutants played today uh, Dan Hastel in goal and Nathan making his return if you had you feel they fared <laughs> I thought Dan did had nothing to do he had no, no saves to make apart from you know picking the ball out of net twice um, and he couldn't do anything about the goals the first one was a great finish second one you know yard out he can't do much about it but uh, 
I thought he talked well. I thought he, uh, his kicking was exceptional, um, accurate distance to it, and uh, it, you wouldn't have known it was a different keeper in there, to be perfectly honest. Um, you know, he couldn't do anything with the goals. Nathan still got a lot, a lot to learn. He knows that. It's his first game back. He was a little bit rusty, possibly threw him in a bit too early, but with the game that had been on Saturday, it's a chance to put in some fresh legs. He knows what he's got to do, and that will come in time. He's, he's 18. You know, he's still learning the game. And that's our job, is to try and make him better. What we just need is uh, some people just to give him a little bit more time. Because uh, if he was brilliantly consistent every week, then Peter Rowan would have let him come to us. He'd have been in their first team.